Hello, John Shuttleworth here. Welcome to the MS Trust Festival. Put on your wellies. I should take off your wellies if you're inside because that's slovenly <coughs> uh, and unhygienic. Anyway, John Shuttleworth here. Way. Welcome to the all in aid of the MS Trust. You've just caught me with the shard of extra strong mint. Um, I'm just going to remove it. It's a bit, a bit dirty to do that, I do realise. But these are unusual times <coughs> to emerge from the lockdown. Oh, oh hey. Oof. Thought that was good, but it's not, is it? Like Radio 3 late at night. Awful. Have you ever tuned in by accident and heard that sort of thing? Now, we're going to kick off the festival. Uh, just remember, I'm only one of the fabulous items with this poetry, dancing. Um, is there a tattoo parlour? I don't know. That would be nice. A nice addition. So, let's begin with <clears throat> one of my finest songs to date, which... Uh, oh, no, that's heavy rock. That's better. The fun rhythm. Lovely. Here we go then. With two margarines on the go, it's a nightmare scenario. Two margarines in my life, two margarines to put to my knife. Two margarines, but which one should I use to put to my strong? It's a dilemma, second to none. Two margarines on the go, it's a nightmare scenario. Two margarines in my life, doesn't seem to bother my wife. She's the one who ignored the first, and opened the second which began the curse. Of the two margarines, is there anything worse? Not really. Well, maybe the pandemic. Very nice, but nice. <coughs> oh, 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 two margarines on the go. It's a nightmare scenario. Two margarines in my fridge is enough to end a happy marriage. Two margarines, how I love for the day when there's just one. My wife says you're a lunatic, John. But two margarines, it's like a bad dream. So please don't do it. Just have one two on the go. Well, you know, you can have two as long as one is earmarked for baking on. We've seen uh, Mrs. Bond go past. Yeah, walking out with the sun. And they were less than a metre apart, but they can be. You know, because they're uh, in a bubble. The bubble. Just going to press pause just to see if, if I'm in the shot. You know, I don't know. I'm doing it on my, my smartphone, which is a uh, Hawaii. Uh, I presume it's a 5 model. I don't know. Let's have a look. Oof. Be back in a second. Don't go away. It's, um, hang on. Um, we got, oh, it's that one, isn't it? Way. <coughs> you don't need to do that. You can... Be lying on your side, on the sofa, on the couch. There's a festival with your arms folded, you know. Just do what you like, do what you feel. Um, not to, no drug taking, obviously. It's not that kind of festival. Um, you can have a, a coffee. Have the new one, uh, late. Well, it comes as quickly as the others, doesn't it, if you notice. Now, oh, that's, a, that's something I've been doing during the lockdown. Uh, be getting reflective and I even wrote a poem yeah that's right that's took you by surprise hasn't it John Shuck was writing poetry well just the one and it's I'm going to read it for you now it's called um, Flaunting the Lockdown yeah well this festival has got a few poets uh, Mr G he's on the bill and also Mr Mr B <sighs> don't they have um very nice surnames that can't be said in full. Well, I'm Mr. S, Mr. Shuttleworth. I'm, I'm Mr. S now, the other poet. And here's the, here's the poem that's around. 
Florence in a lockdown. I was not down during the lockdown, though no one popped round during the lockdown. I went to the garden centre. Oof. Hang on. I stood next to the washing line pole. <laughs> Do you get it? See, because I know for a fact that's the centre of the garden because I measured it. Yeah. Next line. I admired a local beauty spot. Oof. You weren't supposed to, were you? But hang on. Let me finish the line. I admired a local beauty spot. I peered at Mary's Mole. Yeah, clever. That's enough poetry, I think. On now to um, another song of mine. But do you know, I'm going to have a little break because it's wiped me out doing that poem. And uh, talking about having a late, I might go and have. Um, is it mocha, mocha, or something like that with the hot chocolate in? Might have one of them. Or I might just have. Um, I wouldn't have a herbal tea. But uh, might just have fruit cordial. Yeah, a little, a little soft drink. So I'll, I'll join you shortly. Might have a, a rich tea biscuit as well. Give, me, give myself a bit of energy. A little energy boost. Yeah, stay with me. Be back very shortly. <coughs> I'm back. Um, just had to, can't remember what I had to drink. I stop and do that one again, don't I? Oh, that's because I didn't have anything to drink. I had a <coughs> from our spray, but I've just had a drink now. So I for a glass of water, uh, not from a bottle, plastic bottle, because uh, that harms the environment, don't it? Um, <coughs> but I do admire the one with the the top. It's like a teat. It's good training for living in a hospice. Yeah, well, not too long for me now. Um, hopefully a few years. Hopefully I will have time. Oh, I've lost my power. I've lost my presets. Oh, very uh, uncomfortable, this playing position. I hope you appreciate that I'm struggling on. All in aid of MS. Um, the MS Trust. <laughs> Trust MS Trust Festival. So you've got to say the name quite often because people will be dipping in and out of this. They might be going to have a look at Mr Motivator. Oh, I will too, myself. Um, he's called Derek, isn't he? Mr Motivator. Yeah. I've always liked the name Derek, you know. Something reassuring about it, isn't it, Derek? But, you know, he seems to... Um, he's quite a bullion, but... I, Heard him on the radio once, he was quite softly spoken. You know, he seemed very sensitive. I can imagine him doing poetry as well. Right, anyway, we're not doing any more poetry. We're going to have another number. And this is, um, for me, I've enjoyed lockdown. You know, it's been lovely. Not much going on. A bit like uh, midweek. <laughs> Told you I've lost my presets. I have to program them back in. Yeah. Oh, no, oh, the presets were there all the time. I was worrying unduly. So let's get this number underway. The weekend has been and gone, I don't mind, it was no fun. Noisy youths keep me awake, chucking pizza boxes over the gate. But Sunday morning shows her face, giving me a little trace. What it's like when Jules is here, and I can punch the air and cheer. Here comes midweek. I'm so excited I can hardly speak But I've got to, to tell you here comes midweek Strap on your bum bags and stride into the street And we'll be having fun till Thursday evening comes Yeah, or Friday morning, 
when the weekend begins, isn't it? <coughs> Difficult to say exactly. Anyway, Friday night gives me no thrill. I never liked it and I never will. All that dressing up seems wrong just to go out when you're nothing on. <coughs> yeah, it's a while since I've performed these numbers. I'm forgetting some of the words. Just to go out when there's nothing on. Yeah, that was the line. Not when you've nothing on. That's rude. When there's nothing on. But Sunday morning shows her face. Give, oh, that's the wrong line as well. But Monday is a better day. Because Tuesday morning will be on its way. And soon we'll be able to say. The party starts right here. Way. Come on. Here comes midweek. I'm so excited I can hardly speak. <laughs> Here comes midweek. Strap on your bum bags and stride into the street. And we'll be having fun till Thursday evening comes. It's midweek and we are free to renew our books at the library. Two for one deals at the carvery. Go on, be a devil. Let's go to the reservoir and check the level. Here come oh, you've got to do what? Come on, here comes me we I'm so excited I can hardly speak. But I've got to to tell you here comes midweek I'm so excited I can hardly speak <laughs> Here comes midweek Strap on your bum bags and stride into the street And we'll be having fun Yes we'll be having fun We'll be having fun Till Thursday evening comes Fantastic. It's exciting to be doing a workout with Derek for this. It's a little bit rock at the end, but never mind. Thank you. You're watching John Shuttleworth on the... Oh, I keep forgetting the title. That means it's not very good. Uh, no, it's not a bad title. Can't don't know what that means, but anyway. MS Trust Festival. All the proceeds, your pledges and your donations are going to the MS Trust. So thank you. Uh, thank you very much for doing that. If you have, if you're watching and you've not paid, close your eyes now. You know, it's very naughty. Or, you know, make a donation in a while. A um, couple more numbers. Before I take my leave. Uh, oh yeah, here's a book. Right, yeah, with the lockdown coming to an end. For some people, it's not been so quick, has it? But in Sheffield, we're all right, uh, I think, at the moment. And, you know, you want to go back into the community. I want to be a community leader. See what I did there? Clever little link into the next number. Well, I used to want to be, I'm not so sure I want to be now. Here we go. In the arcade one day I saw the whale of a... Oh, wrong lyric. It's not I saw, I heard. In... Oh, hey. Oh, sorry. Yeah, some on some new tablets. Making me a bit drowsy. In the, in the arcade one day I heard the wail of a burglar alarm. I checked that the door of the shop was secure and appealed to one bookers for calm. And once in the park on a family outing, I saw some mules mingle round the drinking fountain. I said, lads, once you quench your thirst, I'd be glad if you'd swiftly disperse. 
I want to be a community leader. Community leaders want to want to be gone. So if there's a riot or a fire, the media will eagerly seek my opinion. Summer's day, a large swarm of bees alighted upon next door's copper beach. I moved on the car that was parking too near and kept local children out of reach. Then a little girl got a ball stuck in the chimney. I said I must wait until tomorrow now, Kimberly. When the beekeeper finally arrived, I suggested he park on our drive. Oh! Hey, what he did. Yeah, steel drum. Come on, let's have a carnival. We've run out of festival. I supervised ping pong at the drop in centre of a tiny little office which no one else may enter unless an injury has been sustained. Then the cameras I administer first aid. Everybody, I want to be a community leader. Community leaders, what I want to become. So if there's a riot or a fire, the media will eagerly seek my opinion. What's to be done? There's a lot of wrong notes in this one. I'm a bit rusty. A bit rusty. Lost the fun with them again. Of fun with them. That's better. Yeah. I play that at hospices quite a lot. Cheers people up, you know. Last few months of life. And I used to do children's parties. Uh, don't get asked too much anymore, but. <laughs> yeah, that cheers people up, but. <laughs> yeah, if the children were naughty, I used to play the lion. And if they were good, I gave them the monkey. Yeah, so that makes people chuckle. I hope that you're chuckling now. Yeah. Oof. Somebody's come to the door. Excuse me. I'll be back in a second. Don't go away. There's one more number. Yeah. Just, why don't you come in, Ken? What for? Well, you know, because I'm uh, recording a festival. It has, not it? That's because it's getting a bit dark. I think I need to put the um, main light on. Why don't you sit in the in the um, the chair, Ken? Oh, no! I'm off, Ken. Anyway, just keep the noise down, please. Yeah, all right, Ken, I will. Just one more number, anyway. Yeah, yeah bye, Ken. Oof. Yeah, Ken's gone. And, um, oof, my battery will be getting low. Uh, just the lights come on. And we are, we are losing light rapidly. <clears throat> it's like Glastonbury now, isn't it? Where all the stage lights come on, and you know it's very exciting as dusk descends. There's usually a lass sat on someone's shoulders, isn't there? We haven't got that here. We've got nobody. Mary's gone round to Joan Chitty's. Um, she's got a new Jack Russell called uh, Rusty who I thought might come round, but he hasn't appeared. Um, which is a shame, because he's quite funny. We're going to finish with... Uh, oh, hey, this is a golden opportunity. We've got a new book out. Look, yeah. I'd like to say all proceeds go to the MS Trust, but they don't. They go to me. Yeah, It's called Two Margarines, Another Domestic Dilemmas. It's by me, John Shuttleworth. And um, it's... You know, it's John Shuttleworth's guide to everyday life. It's full of tips on uh, that was about fleeces. Are they better than the cagoule? Well, you'll we'll have to buy the book to find out. Um, you've got things like uh, the cafetiere. Have you still got yours? I wouldn't risk it if I were you. you stick it in your cupboard. And, um, you know, don't give it to the charity shop because that's just passing the problem on, isn't it? Because when you press the plunger down, it goes everywhere. You've also got um, 
tips on oh Ken's mildewy chairs that's something else Roger from the halfway house lots of little stories as well all true obviously mingling with mourners you got some lyrics but yeah what, what to do with um, how to avoid bashing your ankle on the dishwasher door it's all in here oh hey that's um, Bro Brother Beyond isn't it was it modern romance they've gone a bit quiet that's Toto Kiwayo they've gone quiet but yeah on sale get it online from our website shuttleworths.co.uk don't buy it from the Amazon rainforest no because they're nasty <clears throat> Ken says they don't pay the taxes is that right I don't know I didn't say that. that's what Ken said so buy it from me from my website right we're going to finish with arguably my finest song to date um, which is covered in the book the dilemma of whether you should go back to savoury or or not my wife mary made a lovely shepherd's pie and peas with carrots and gravy oh and cabbage as an additional green i said that looks fantastic love and drunk in hungrily my daughter karen did not something i wish i had seen for soon my plate was empty I said, Mary, is there any more? She said, no, love, but it's treacle sponge for afters. And I said, phwoa. And I had a couple of mouthfuls when I heard Karen declare, I can't eat any more of the shepherd's pie, Mum. Oh, well, it filled me with despair. Because if I'd known that, I want to go back to my sweets. But I can't go back to savoury now That shepherd's pie was stunning But I'm halfway through me pudding Can't go back to savoury now no. My taste buds would go crazy Can't go back to savoury now Many have tried, many have failed my tummy was in turmoil, I was panicked and confused. As Karen's dinner grew colder, so did my sweet. For my pleasure in that treacle sponge was now massively reduced by the sight of fluffy potatoes and glistening meat. Take this plate from me, oh Lord, before I go insane. Should I press on with me afters or go back to me main? No, I can't go back to savoury now. Join him and you feel confident. That shepherd's pie was stunning, but I'm halfway through me pudding. Can't go back to savoury now. No. My taste buds would go crazy, but I can't go back to savoury now. I can't go back. I won't go back. I'd love to go back, but I mustn't do that. I can't go back. I won't go back. Obviously, I'd love to go back, but I mustn't do that. Oh, 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 oh. At that moment, I heard a sound. The scrape of knife on plate. As I watched Karen's dinner, Go in the dog's dish. My appetite now gone. My pudding suffered the same fate. I could only assume that this appalling outcome was God's wish. Well, you know, I can't go back to savoury. Hang on, don't say now. Hang on. Can't go back to savoury now. Get your, I would say lighters, but no, it's, that's not safe. Get your iPhones out, or your Hawaii's. I can't go back to savoury now. Come on. That shepherd's pie was stunning, but I'm halfway through my pudding. Can't go back 
to savory now. Did he finish, Mary? That shepherd's pie was soon banished back. Can't go back to savory now. Oh, oh. Yeah. Have you brought uh, Rusty? Is Rusty there, Mary? I want to say hello to Rusty. We should come back with Joan Chitton. Mary? Have you brought Rusty? Hey. Who oh, is this Rusty? Hello? Come here. Oh, oh blimey, Rusty, come here. Are you doing a video, oh. Mary? It's the end of the festival. Say bye bye. Yeah. Bye, everybody. Thanks for watching. Um, enjoy the rest of the festival. I'm going to talk to a bit of uh, Mr. Motivator. He should be called Mr. M. If he's going to do poetry. Yeah. Bye. Is it rusty? Yeah, it's lovely. Right. Oof.